communicating your message and showing the value of what you have to offer on a website is very difficult because all we have available to us is text and images and video if you have a bit more resources to come up with video it's hard to get your point across let me prove my point right now you're looking at this picture right here it's a beautiful kitchen so if you saw it, this on a website of someone that does say kitchen remodeling you say wow that's a nice kitchen and then you move off to the next image or something like that but nowhere is is it easy to communicate well look at that stovetop and it's this kind of brand and it, it has this benefit to you and look at this cabinet and it has this and it, it offers this for you or look at this countertop quality it, there, there's just no way of doing that if you just have an image on your website now obviously the alternative is to have someone there filming a camera and you're actually in the kitchen and you're explaining all that but not everybody wants to push play on a video for something like this let me show you another image here is a checkout page and this happens to be created using cartflows uh, cartflows.com shameless plug uh, anyways it allows you to create sales funnels uh, using wordpress it's an amazing tool but if someone's looking at this right here they just see a checkout form and then you know where are their eyes drawn to uh, so it would be totally different if I was sitting right by your side saying oh check out these fields this is not the normal WooCommerce order you see how the uh, field order you see how the email address is there at the top these field labels yeah you can customize these that's why they don't look like every other form oh when you click into another form like that you see how it has that red bar that's field validation and this is something else what we do oh and right here you see this this is called an order bump this is something that WooCommerce does not do your buyer can click this checkbox and all of a sudden it's added to their order you can't get that out of just looking at an image last example and then we'll move on this is a car interior and um, if you just look at it you say this is a nice car interior now this actually happens to be the interior of my car the same interior mine is white though and this is black uh, but when you look at it you're like oh look at all these little gadgets but you don't know that this speedometer is actually a video display and you can have your navigation there and you can do all these different things there you don't know that you could play videos on this and this is uh, your infotainment system and then down here you don't know that you can control and operate all the functions of the car and there's just actually a lot of cool things to this car sweet car anyways my point is quite simply that images alone do not communicate the value or benefit of anything and so in this video i'm going to show you how you can fix that on your websites hey if you're already liking this video consider giving it a thumbs up make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to know when new videos like this go out let's jump into this tutorial so what am i talking about how are we going to solve this let me pull it up right here this is it right here hot spots but not your normal hot spots okay normal hot spots whatever so let me scroll down uh, this is a new feature to ultimate add-ons for elementor and i'm sure for beaver builder users they're going to be bringing this to their beaver builder add-on as well so hot spots are are all right okay that's not what i'm talking about so but hot spots are cool so look at this you can have an image and someone can think okay i click here and i can see what that is i can click here and see what that is i can click here and see what that is and i can customize the colors it's actually really cool but check this out here's another example but check this out this is a brand new feature that they added to this see this image right here and it says explore interior when i click this it automatically goes through a virtual tour you see how it just switched to this icon down here it's automatically going through a virtual tour that's showing me everything that i should be focused on and looking at inside of this image i don't know about you but this i, I get excited about some things this i am actually very excited about because this is so practical it just makes sense and they actually just added a new feature that I asked for. You saw how when I scrolled down to it, I had to hit that button in order for it to start. They now have an option where as soon as 
the visitor scrolls to the part of the page with it, it can automatically start. So let me show you how to do this with Elementor. If you have ultimate add-ons for Elementor, if you don't have this plugin, you can visit wpcrafter.com slash UAEL. That's the acronym for this plugin and it'll take you right on over. I'll have the link in the video description box down below. It's very affordable, it's very innovative, and it's the only third-party Elementor add-on that I have on my website. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna go into Pages, and I actually was already goofing around with it, and I made this one right here, you could see, but I don't like the image. So let me show you how to do this. So I'm gonna go Edit with Elementor, and I'm gonna jump right on into it. And when we scroll down, we're gonna to get to the ultimate add-ons, add-ons, they have a whole bunch. But the one we're looking for is this one right here that says hotspot. Obviously, I'm gonna skip it. Here, let me delete this section. We drag and drop hotspot right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to select an image on my, uh, on my computer. So I'm gonna go here, and there it is, kitchen. It's that gigantic kitchen. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to add these hotspots. It is very easy. Okay, so first thing is we, we put, uh, I got my image in there, and these, these little icons here, they're called markers. Now you have full design control over it. I'm not gonna get into every detail of it because there's actually instructions uh, right here on all of the little details. I'm showing you this hotspot feature today though. Okay, so here we are. So what you do is click on markers and you can have as many markers as you want. Let me show you how you position it. So we have the horizontal and the vertical and we just have these dials. So I can position this wherever I want. So if I wanted it to be say right here and then let me go down some and this would be for the stove top. Perfect, so I have that positioned. I can change my art icon right here and I can even change it to just text or an image. And then I can click on content and I can put whatever I want in there. So I'll just leave it as this is a tool tip, but I'd say something nice about this kind of oven. Communicate the benefits of what they're looking at. Always communicate the benefits. Now there's a global style, but if you wanted to apply an individual style to just this marker, this is how you would do it. You would override the global settings, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, and then you can uh, just add a new one like this, and we'll do the same thing. And so now we have a new one, and so right here, why don't I go uh, to the stove? I like this stove. It's a nice stove and I'm gonna move my positioning just like this looks like I might want to be over just a little bit more that's perfect and then here it is I can change this text as well okay so I'm just gonna do one more and then I'm gonna show you how to do the virtual tour so what I'm gonna do is go over to the refrigerator this time why not uh, the fridge right there and let's kind of move it over just a little like that. There we go. I have it there for the fridge. I'll leave the content there, that's fine. Okay, so now we have some options with our tooltip. That's what's gonna happen when when someone, there's the tooltip right there. Um, so you can have some options there of positioning and all that distance, things along that nature, along with animation. What I wanna show you though is this hotspot tour. So I'm gonna click this to enable the tour in the first place. And then there it is. So it's gonna show the tooltip. Obviously you can customize the colors of everything. And then it's gonna give you this navigation, how many tooltips there are, and give the viewer the option to skip to the next, but it will. there's also this option to automatically do that. So I'm gonna do a repeat tour, so when it's over it'll, it'll go again. And then I'm gonna choose this autoplay right here. So when you first toggle on the autoplay, it's gonna give you that option with the button. And you could certainly do this if you want. If you're gonna have a lot on the same page, you'd probably want to maybe not, you have it so you click on the button, but if you're just gonna have one on a page, you could certainly do the autoplay without having them click on this button. Okay, so we have our interval between going from tooltip to tooltip, but then here's this feature they just added for me at my request, and it says launch tour. So I'm gonna choose right here when widget is in viewpoint. So that means when this image is viewable, 
it's going to automatically start and not require the visitor to click on that button. However, if you did want to do the button, you have the tool, the full control over what that button says right here, the size of the button position, all of that kind of stuff. But I kind of just want it to automatically happen. That's what is most interesting to me about this feature. Okay, and we have some style. So we have style right here, the style of the markers. And remember, you can override it in the style of the tooltips if you wanted to change those colors, the padding, and all of that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to click on update. Uh, but, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to load a template and then sandwich this in the middle of the template so we can see what happens when you scroll down. Okay, I'm back. I put this template in here. Let's do an update and let's see what this is like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on preview changes right here. It's going to show me that template and then I'm going to scroll down and watch what happens. There it is. It's in the viewport and there it is. It automatically starts for me and you can see it's automatically going through those for me. I think this is such a cool feature that uh, I just I think there's so many useful applications. So it, we went through the real estate application so that you can uh, show the visitor what they should be looking at to actually sell what's in the image. Obviously automobiles, I showed you that. Uh, software, any type of software where you're trying to show someone something, especially if it's an interface and you wanna kinda of show them how to use the interface. This button does this, this button does this. You can now automatically do that with this. Uh, there's just use case after use case after use case. I saw someone's website where they were showing some befores and afters. It would be nice to have this on the after to show okay you see how we did this you see how we did this we see how we did this because we can do the same thing for you there's just so many uses uh, for this tool uh, I'm I, I just got really excited about it when I saw this so obviously I didn't go through customizing the bullet points or the markers and the tooltip colors you have full control you saw over here on the example that you see how customized it is we have things pulsating we have have all kinds of stuff like that. We have different colors on hover, um, different colors when you uh, click on it. So you're going to have full control over all of this style to make it look beautiful. But it's really this hotspot tour feature that I think is quite the game changer. So uh, anyways, gosh, that's an overused term. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I want to hear from you in the comments, though. What applications do you see for a feature like this of adding interactivity and focus and selling to your website? What applications do you see for this new feature of having a hotspot tour that launches automatically when someone visits it and sees it. I want to hear from you in the comment section down below. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, click on that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos like this. I'll have links and everything in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.